winners must be of high moral character, exhibit patriotism for both country and state, and be faithful Aggies who have earned the trust and admiration of the Corps, the student body at large, and the officers of the campus military establishment. The awards were announced earlier today at each ROTC ceremony, but I'm pleased to announce this year's winners of the Darty Award uh, as well. Uh, Daniel C. Stevenson, on behalf of the Army, Jennings T. Fairchild, on behalf of the Air Force, and Juan T. Sabatanez, on behalf of the Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating each of these young men. Now, to perform our commissioning today, we're pleased to have as our commissioning officer an Aggie with a distinguished military career, Brigadier General Joe E. Ramirez, Jr., Class of 79, and our Commandant of the Corps of Cadets. It's a pleasure to welcome General Ramirez to present certificates of commission to our new officers. Howdy. Will those to be commissioned please come forward? Hooray, Prince! Today, we gather to carry on the time-honored tradition of commissioning young men and women from Texas A&M into the Armed Forces of the United States. A tradition that has been a hallmark of this university for 139 years. As we now join in peaceful assembly, approximately 10,000 American servicemen and women continue to conduct military operations overseas. Perhaps there is someone you know a parent, a brother or sister, a son or daughter, or grandchild, maybe a classmate or a co-worker. They're the boy who mowed your lawn, or maybe the girl who sold you Girl Scout cookies. And so, as we look forward to celebrating this graduation with family and friends, let us remember these men and women in our thoughts and our prayers. Today, we will witness the commissioning of 110 new military officers. Each will take an oath as countless Aggies who have gone before them. They will, swear to, they will swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. They will be entrusted with protecting the American people from those who would do us harm. And upon their shoulders will risk the responsibility for ensuring that the legacy of freedom is passed to the next generation. The men and women before you today are ready to step forward and freely accept this responsibility. Admiral Arlene A. Burke once wrote about the oath these men and women are about to take. It is a responsibility that should not be taken easily. Its phraseology is disarmingly simple. When an officer swears to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, he is assuming the most formidable obligation he will ever encounter in his life. Thousands upon thousands of men have died to preserve for him the opportunity to take such an oath. What he is actually doing is pledging his means, his talent, his very life to his country. That is an obligation that falls to very few men. And so as they approach the point of taking their oath of office, I would ask, who stands with them? First, let me ask the families of those to be commissioned to stand and to remain standing 
as the oath is administered as a symbol of your support, of your pride, and your young officer.